Okay, well, here we go. Nothing to lose, everything to gain, right? In absence of any other spare parts or another unit to take apart for to salvage coils, um, there's no way I'm going to be able to tap into those. I'm, I just don't have that kind of skill. So, decisions made. We're going to put that in the vise. And we're going to uh, zip cut the crimp off the end of there okay so really what's in there is uh, it's an empty cup well it's not empty because it's got a coil in it but it's a cup there's a spool uh, of, of wound wire in there is what I'm expecting to find on the end is just a washer I don't know if you can see that it's just a washer and that washer is captured by the crimp on the end and actually the washer is actually loose in there it just can't come out because of the crimp so we're going to knock the crimp out and then give it a shake and see what comes out and then hopefully we'll be able to um, unwrap the spool a little bit so i can get some more some longer uh, pigtails out of here and then i can hook up, hook those onto the pins and we should be good to go then this end, um, the crimp will be gone, so I don't know, it's probably going to be epoxy or JB Weld or something, something simple. All right, so we're going to get to it. I'm not going to bother uh, recording me cutting this. Uh, safety first, glasses, cutting wheels, vice to hold it, hold the workpiece, nice comfortable chair, and uh, should have these off in a matter of minutes. Okay, so there we are. I decided to cut uh, just half of the crimp off with hopes that maybe um, that washer will just come out and I can keep the crimp on the on half of the case. It'll be a lot uh, a lot better when I go put it back together. So I'm trying to do this with one hand. Just hold on a sec. I'm gonna put you down while I get this in the vise this way, so you can see my next step here. Okay, so uh, sorry for the shakes again. This is just an iPhone in my hand. Um, okay, so I followed the crimp around at about half the thickness of that washer, and then I just peeled up the uh, the lip that's left over. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna turn it the other way so. It stays in place for me. This is where the magic happens, hopefully. Let's see if that's going to just pop out of there for me. Look at that, eh? Sweet. There's the washer. That's out. There's the coil inside. Now, is that going to come out of there or am I going to need to trim some more of the crimp? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I'm going to snip this off and I'll be right back. Well, there you have it. Cut half the crimp off. So I could slide the keeper out and then the coil just dropped out of there. So here's why I go, went into here and what my goal is. Okay, so there's one of the wires there. Can you see it? Okay, so I'm basically going to unwrap it, give it half a turn. I have it come out here. This one, same thing. I'm going to try to figure out how to unwrap it from the bottom side. Give it half a turn and have it come out on this side. And so in doing that, I should end up with a wire pigtail like an inch long. 
then I can put this back together and I'll have lots to work with. I'll have lots to work with to reconnect to the pins. So, um, hey, if all goes well here, there's the second coil that I'm going to do the same thing to. If all goes well here, um, yeah, I might have this sucker all fixed up in 30, 40 minutes. Well, it's half working. It is half working. So, there's a there's a half wrap of unwinding the coil. So we've got a nice long piece to work with here. And the other one, of course, is where's my focus? Sorry, my finger's in the way, I guess. The other one is tucked under. It's on the bottom of the wrap. So I can't get any farther than that without completely unwinding this spool and then rewinding it which I'm not gonna do there could be a couple miles on there so instead I'm gonna take a length of that twist it solder it onto the end of this and then feed it back out and I'll have a splice here and um, native wire coming out this side um, between those two we should be good to go, don't you think? All right, here we are back at uh, the clean workstation. Let's just uh, recap um, where we are and how we got here. So the truck um, had an ABS light um, on the dash uh, with a large clunking sound when you first turn the ignition. Then the ABS light would come on. I read the ABS module using a uh, blue driver OBD2 reader. The error it gave was um, right front right coil input circuit failure or something in that lines. So I went to the truck to the control module. This is a uh, Kelsey Hayes unit okay and as soon as I unbolted unbolted the controller from the um, from the hydraulic uh, base and I turned it over two of these coils two of the six coils fell out of my hand okay so here we are now is trying to figure out how to repair these coils because I don't have a spare unit I'm not gonna buy a new unit it would cost more than what the truck is worth more than what I paid for the truck and uh, I haven't gone to the junkyard yet so in the meantime I'm going I'm attempting to repair the two damaged coils and uh, if the repair is successful then I will just keep an eye out for another module and at some point in time I will uh, uh, replace the coils with some good ones from a salvaged module so to get these coils out, the, uh, the little wires were broken off. And I'm trying to get longer pigtails coming through those holes so I have something to work with uh, to get the pins reestablished. The coils have a little crimp on them. That holds an end cap washer in. I took my Dremel tool. I cut half of that crimp off so that the washer will come out. Yeah, sure. Now it's <laughs> now I can't get it out. Anyway, it comes out of there, and inside is a spool of wire. There's the coil. Okay, so the deal here, or the issue is, I need to get a longer tail off of both of these sides to, uh, to be able to make the correct connection and get the pins and then solder it back into the board. Um, the outside wrap is pretty easy, of course. Do a half a turn and I get all this extra wire. 
the inside wrap, it won't come out any farther than that. So I believe what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a piece of this. I'm going to take a piece of this, twist it onto this little tail, solder it, and then feed it out, out this uh, terminal port hole. And that should give me what I need. I just don't know how long that soldering joint will last. But at the very least, it should help prove the concept that there's nothing wrong with the board. It's just the coil um, coil connections that had failed. So um, onwards and upwards, I'll uh, see what I can do with this and get back with an update.